last time on Hero the Main. Okay, last one for the night, I think, and then I'm gonna call it because this recording's getting a little long and everything's starting to die, including my energy. And we'll pick this up tomorrow with fresh energy. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. And we're back. It is first thing in the morning. I did have breakfast. I am now on my second cup of joe. As drank out of my Hero of the Main mug, only available on redbubble.com. And yeah, let's keep this thing moving, shall we? We are now on to favorite dark type, Generation 1. Dark type didn't exist yet in Generation 1, but retroactively, these are the dark types we have to pick from. What are you? Oh, Aerodactyl Fossil? How does that make sense? Are these Glitchmon? <sighs> I guess we'll go missing now. Feels kind of like a cop-out. But Dark didn't exist in Gen 1, so I guess we have to go for a cop-out. Anywho, the official introduction of the Dark type. We already know. Put respect on Umbreon's name. Thank you, Pokemon Coliseum, for giving these guys as the starters. What a cool pick. Umbreon. Tyranitar is also a cool boy, though. Wasn't he my rock type picked up? No. <laughs> He got chapter for Sudo Mudo. Ooh, sorry, teeth are hands. <laughs> Rip. That's hilarious. Um, dark type, dark type. I'm gonna go. There's some good picks here. It's between Cacturn and Sharpedo for me. I know people are gonna be like, um, what about Absol, my bro? Absol, I don't dislike, but I don't like adore like a lot of people do. Yeah, I'll go Cacturn. I'm, I'm getting. I like my cactus boy. Favorite dark type, Gen 4. We got Darkrai. We also got Honchkrow. I do like both of those guys a lot. I already picked Drapion in a previous. I would have to give it to Darkrai here. Favorite fighting type from Gen 5. Fighting. Dark. It's because I saw Scrafty. Um, and I do love Scrafty. I also like Crocodile. Well, I guess we'll give uh, Hydreigon some love, finally, because I wouldn't pick Bisharp over him. I'm Hydreigon. I'm Hydreigon. I tried to pick things up, but also I eat them. I'm Hydreigon. And yeah, that makes up for him missing the cut here in the favorite dragon. Nice. Everything kind of fills out with those nice dual typing Pokemon. If they don't make one, they'll most likely make another, which is cool. Let's go Greninja as favorite dark type. And then favorite water type. Let's revise. I think there were other good choices here. Oh yeah, there are definitely other good choices here. I'm kind of feeling Cloutzer here. Yeah, I guess. Good job, Greninja. <laughs> you got Cloutzer to make the cut. Favorite dark type, Gen 7. Ash Greninja was fun. Ash Greninja was really busted. I remember I used to 1v1 my friend Max a lot, and I had the Ash Greninja because you would get him by playing the demo of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Ash Greninja is a cool dude. Favorite dark type, 8. I, doing a quick skim, I do like the Impidimp line. I kind of like Impidimp the most. <laughs> I do like, also, Grimmsnarl though. And Obstagoon is fun. I do like the the new take on the Zigzagoon line. But I'm gonna go Impidimp. Impidimp always felt like a better Sableye to me. Sometimes I just like the cute little guy. That's what Impidimp is. Cute little guy with a side of mischief. Okay. Favorite dark type, Gen 9. I would say King Gambit, most likely. Mabastiff was fun. I like what we got from Mabastiff in the story of Scarlet Violet. That's about it. <laughs> A few moments later. Favorite steel type, Gen 9. King Gambit, I picked for favorite bug, or favorite dark type, rather. He's not a bug. He just looks like a big old beetle. <laughs> I love the move Kowtow Cleave. If I were to pick King Gambit, what are the other dark type choices? Other oh, were good choices. I guess I'll put the Slug Man. I do like the Slug Man. Umbreon? But Ash Greninja though, slash normal Greninja. Slash, I do like Impidimp a lot as well. Look at him, little dork. We'll go you, for reference. <laughs> do I have to do that every time? Yes. Favorite Steel type. 